Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, I am going to talk about two things. The first is never leak a single byte, never leak a memory resource of your while using your program, while developing your program, never leak a single byte of memory. And the next thing is never fail to close a file used or database connection used. Whenever you use some resources, you have to clean them up after use. Okay, say so this session continues from my previous video. And when scan, when there is a syntax error in our uh, scripting language, then yylex and yypass are very likely to fail to process the input file. In such case, resource leak is very likely to open, to, to happen. So in this session, I will try to show you how to trace resource leak and how to prevent resource leak in your application. Download the sample source code from my previous video, from this series of video. When download is completed, when completely downloaded, then please unzip it in your download folder. Then rename it. Solution 24. Then copy to your uh, working folder. Now open it in Visual Studio. When the solution is successfully loaded, press Ctrl F5 to build and run. I will add some simple program. Apple 6 include banana txt and banana txt defines banana we save all here now we display apple plus banana nl we put some prompt string sum over apple and banana Like this. Now let's run. When program executes without any bug, it seems to be working properly without any resource leak. But if we make a syntax error here and we run it again, then resource leak. Okay, to fix this problem, we'll fix this problem. Save all. In yy parser, parser y here, we are introducing error recovery routine. Error recovery. In the statement here, errr. Then y y e l i ok. More about this error and the y y error ok. Please refer to Bison menu. Let's save it, save them, and Control F five to build and run. Now let now we find here is a syntax error now. Now we run it. Now it runs without any resource leak. In the previous, previously we had resource leak. Now we have, we don't have any resource leak. Okay. So here I make another uh, more. I will make more uh, syntax error. Then if I run it, it still gracefully handles error recovery. So this is this is very important way to recover from our syntax error. Syntax error. However, 
I want to introduce one more thing. When yylex include file, when we include file, files are dynamically, uh, memories are dynamically, dynamically allocated. Here, when we include file, here, include when we include the file, it dynamic dynamically allocates uh, yy create buffer dynamically allocates buffer. So when lex fails, this yy lex fail lex scanner fails, or syntax parser fails, it is very likely we lose a uh, memory leak. It is very likely to have memory leak when our yy lex or yy pass fails. So to to cope to cope such instance to cope with such instance, I will I want to manage the allocated memory tightly like this in the class view. Click yy uh, parser manager here. Uh, outside the block struct yy buffer state. I declare a variable. This is defined by yylex. Defined by yylex. Uh, by flex. Okay. Used to include file. Now I create a stack here. Talk play fun stack yy buffer state m buffer state now save it so i say buffer states now we will add three functions void push Buffer state yy buffer state p buffer and another pop buffer state and finally void cleaner buffer state. Okay, we copy all three function header and we click any function. We will put code here. This is to recover memory leak, resource leak, memory leak when yylex fails. This M buffer states push P buffer and this is pop if this M buffer states empty in me we will make it not empty then we pop this M buffer state pop push buffer state and pop buffer state will be used in when the lexer and parser executes runs normally so we don't free the memory here however when lexer or parser fails then while this m Buffer states empty. We would say not empty. This is for crash recovery. So, auto PTR. This M buffer states top free. We have to convert it to character pointer. Character pointer. 
then ptr then this m buffer state pop okay we have to do this this is for error recovery for recovery for resources memory resources for the recovery when yy lags or yy pass fails fails okay now save this and from here out oh, here when we in the destructor yy uh, pass a many destructor here this clean up buffer state okay this is for uh, memory recovery then here yyl whenever we whenever we create buffer yy extra push buffer state scan buffer we also push the scan buffer buffer so when when pop then we also have to pop yy extra uh, pop buffer state these are for normal case no, normally when when the program runs normally now save all now let's let's build and run again Control f5 now we this is the same program now it runs successfully without any uh, any resource leak uh, we will create one more file and we say cherry and banana include the cherry now okay now we run here banana cherry okay we run it then it should be cherry Twenty bytes leaked. Let's try again. So now we have no problem. In cherry here, we put a syntax error. We run Apple again. So this is in cherry line three. Cherry line three. Uh, expecting equal so it recovers syntax error now give one more syntax error now it gracefully recovers from syntax error now without any resource leak this way we can prevent resource leak as much as possible in the next so this i conclude this session in the next say currently even if we clicked this these things error message it happens nothing but in next session uh this this is the file no let's run it in the next session we will create this kind of software if we click it then then the error place is correctly opened let's close it clear output if we run it then we have syntax error if i click it then the 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 part where i clicked cherry txt and line 5 5 line 5 here column 910 column 910 the error message correctly 
uh, 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 pinpointed. If I click it, in the, and if I double click it, then the file opens and the correct error place is located in the file. So this is the set. We will implement this functionality in next session. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I post complete source code to internet and you can download this the complete source code using the download link in the description section below. Thank you for watching.